How's it going, everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite. So this is the Poly Plus Vented case for the Raspberry Pi 4. A while ago, I reviewed the original Poly Plus case, and at $5, it's a good value. Argon 40 is back with a new and improved version, and essentially this is the same case, but now on the hood, you have cutouts for fan ventilation. I purchased this case with my own money from Amazon and it retails for 11 US dollars. This kit includes the Argon 40 mini fan head and we'll talk about this in a minute. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Poly Plus Vented case is the same form factor as the original Poly Plus case. You can remove the hood and it still gives you access to the GPIO pins, power over ethernet pins and camera ports. There are no screws in this case, so everything snaps together. Now, as I mentioned, this case comes in a kit that includes the Argon Mini fan hat. The Mini fan hat has a heat sink that comes in direct contact with the Raspberry Pi 4 CPU. It also has a switch for power on, off, and PWM control. When you look at the Mini fan hat next to the original fan hat, it's a lot smaller and it uses fewer GPIO pins. You'll have to edit the config.txt file in order for the fan to work during PWM mode, and I'll show you that in a minute. For now, I'm gonna get everything assembled and run a stress test. So now that we have everything assembled, let me show you how to install the script in order to get the fan to run during PWM mode. So instructions on how to install this through terminal in Raspberry Pi OS will be in the description box. Right now I'm on my Windows PC and I have my SD card plugged in. So what I'm going to do is go into the boot directory and from here I'm going to open up the config.txt file. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to add the following line. DT overlay equals GPIO dash fan comma GPIO pin equals 18 comma TEMP equals 55000. So whenever the CPU fan reaches 55 degrees Celsius, the mini fan hat will activate. Now, if you want, you can make changes to when the fan activates by changing the temperature. So let's say, for example, you want it to start when the CPU reaches 40 degrees Celsius. All you have to do is change the 55,000 to 40,000 and you'll be good to go. From here, I'm going to click save and close my file explorer and eject my micro SD card. I'm going to reinsert my SD card into my Raspberry Pi and boot it up. So to test temperatures, I'm running Stressberry and I ran this test for 30 minutes on all four cores at the 1.5 gigahertz base clock. And sure enough, when the CPU temperature reached 55 degrees Celsius, the fan turned on. Here's a sample of what it sounds like. During the test, the CPU reached a maximum of 63 degrees Celsius. Now, other than getting that mic'd up recording of the fan noise, the hood was on the entire time. 
I didn't bother to run this test with an overclock because for one, I don't necessarily need to overclock my Raspberry Pi 4. But if you guys want to see that in the future, please let me know in the comments below. But for base settings coupled with the low fan noise, I'm pretty pleased with this. Overall, I think the Poly Plus Vented case is a very nice improvement over the original Poly case. If for some reason you still want the original Poly Plus case, you'll have to order it from Argon 40's website directly. But for reasons just demonstrated in this video, this kit is the better deal. The fact that you have active cooling and access to some of the GPIO ports with this kit makes it all worth it. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you wanna pick up the Poly Plus Vented case with the mini fan hat, affiliate links will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.